Hello everyone, welcome to Pseudocoder. This is Ravina, and today we are going to solve problem number 21 that is merge two sorted lists. Now let's start by reading the question here. It says that you are given the heads of two sorted linked lists, list 1 and list 2. Merge the two lists into one sorted list. The list should be made by splicing together the nodes of the first two lists. Return the head of the merged linked list. Let's look at an example and try to understand this question better. Let's move on to our notepad. I have two lists here with me. So this is list 1 and this one is list 2. Okay. And uh, the question says that we have to make, merge these two lists such that they are in the sorting order. So what does that mean? So basically we want a solution such that um, this one comes first. So you can have, uh, it doesn't say which uh, node, if, if the two nodes are equal, which list to prefer. It doesn't say anything like that. So you can take either one. So if you say, you know, I take one and then the next one should be this one. Okay, let me do this. Yeah, uh, the next up would be, you know, this two right here. So we'll have two and then there is three and three. So you we can get either ones. So three and three and then ultimately this four and five. So four and five. And if you connect these all together, that's what result that we want. So that's what the question is. Now let's see how we can solve this. So I'm just going to scroll down to my example here. Okay. So this is my list one and this is my list two. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use, um, basically I'm going to go through both the lists uh, in such a way that uh, whichever is less, I'm going to grab it and add it to my result. So initially what I'm going to do is I'm going to initialize my linked list with something like, for example, zero. So I'm going to initialize my linked list with zero. So this is my first node, okay? And I'm going to have a head pointer to it. All right, so currently, my L1 and L2 lists are going to point at the start. So this is my L1 and this is my L2. I will check is my um, list one value is less than or equal to my list two. So is one less than or equal to one? Yes, it is. One is less than or equal to one. So I'm going to add that to my list. Uh, to my result okay so once i do that what i'm going to do is i'm going to increment my counter since i already processed this one i'm going to increment my uh, pointer and point it to the next node as for my result i'm also going to increment my head now so that my head points here and so that i can add more nodes okay coming back to the while loop i will check is my one so this is pointing to green one and then this is pointing to i will check is two less than or equal to one i'm checking l1 less than equal to l2's value okay so i will check is two less than equal to one no it is not okay then i add the element from list two to my result so i add this one here and since i added it since i added this element uh, to my result i'm going to increment the counter and also i'm going to increment the head so head is going to point here now again i go in i check is my two less than or equal to three since my pointer for list one is here and my pointer for list two is here so is two less than or equal to three yes it is okay i'm going to add that so i add my two to my counter and then since I added this two, I'm going to increment my counter. Now it is pointing to three. Also, I will increment my head. Again, I will check is my three less than or equal to three? Uh, yes, it is. Three is less than or equal to three. So I will add that to my result. Then I will try to increment it. Since it is the end of the list, 
this while loop is going to stop here and i am going to increment my head so you'll see that we are actually left with these two we did not add them so the while loop that we are going to use is going to check you know while my l1 and l2 are uh, present so it is going to exhaust whichever list exhausts first it is going to exit out of the while loop so this next time we go in we check is l1 uh, what is is l1 existing no it is not since it is the end of the loop so the loop is not going to execute so now we are left with these two variables uh, with these two nodes four and five so in the end what we have to do is we have to check are there any elements in l1 uh, there are none okay then it's good i'm also going to check are there any elements in l2 yes there are two elements in l2 so i'm going to simply add them to my result this step is really important you usually you know kind of miss this step if the length of the two lists are equal and during visualization you can easily miss this but this is an e extremely important edge scenario when the two lists are not equal so this is how you do it so i hope this explanation was helpful let's move on to the code editor and write this code the first thing that we need is the result so i will do result is equal to i'm just going to create a list node with any value you can add any value to it and then i'm going to create a head that i'm going to use to iterate through my uh, re result so that i can uh, use the result in the end to pass in the starting point of the result uh, of the nodes right so yes so i am going to write a while loop my while loop is going to be while list one and list two so we are going to loop through this list lists uh, until one of them uh, is has reached the end and i'm going to check if list one dot val is less than or equal to list two dot val if this is true if list one dot value is less than the list two then i'm going to add it to my head so head dot next is equal to list of one so i add it there and since i added that list i am going to increment it so list one dot next if this list one dot value is not less than or equal to list two then i need a else block so this else block is going to have a head uh, is going to have l2 in in the head dot next so i do list two and then since we added list two to the head dot next i'm going to increment it in the end once i have my head dot next set i'm going to do head is equal to head dot next to make sure that i'm incrementing the head counter so this is all about the while loop now remember the edge case when we were left with two nodes so we are going to take care of that now so i will check if list one so if there is anything in list one i will assign it to my head dot next similarly i will check is there anything in list two then i assign it to my head dot next lastly what i have to do i want to return the result and since we initialized our result with list node of zero and we do not really need that node of zero right we just had it as a placeholder so we are going to res uh, return result dot next to make sure that we don't return that zero okay so let's try and run this okay it's running so let me try and submit it yeah so you see the code is submitted and it's better than 87.02 percent of the python users uh, now let's talk about the space and time complexity of this problem so if you look at the time complexity you will see that we are looping through list one and list two and we are looping through each and every node correct so technically we are looping through so suppose list node uh, one list one has supposed two nodes and list two has three nodes we are getting one node at a time and that means that we are accessing all the nodes in list one and list two uh, so the time complexity is going to be length of the list one plus length of list two since we are accessing just one node at a time um, 
if you talk about the space complexity of this problem it is actually constant because uh, we have this result that is storing just one node and then we are actually reusing this list one node and list two nodes and we are not actually creating a new node we are just reusing the existing node from the provided lists that we have so that is why the space complexity of this problem is going to be constant o of one so i hope this explanation was helpful if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and comment below and also subscribe to my channel if you want to get similar updates about these problems that i solve and i also have a python programming course online which is live right now so you can go and check that out if you are trying to learn python it is a fairly easier course i have tried to made it very simple for people who are trying to learn and especially for competitive coding I also have a data centric Python programming coming up. So we'll have chapters for that. Those are going to be uploading soon. So I hope this was helpful. The code for this is going to be on my GitHub channel. All the links are going to be in the description below. And if you have any questions, feel free to join my Discord channel or feel free to post them in the comments below. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye bye.